Well, after about seven or eight years, we finally get ring effects. Finally, I guess, but it's not exactly random. So weather effects, the fog, the sandstorm, the rain, it's not exactly random. So rain cloud does not shift. The fire does not spread. Same goes with the sandstorm. So it's just there, I guess. But like with random events, it's not exactly random. So always happens at the same area. And it's basically a zone, if you will, of rendering. And that's practically it. So either you're inside that zone or you're outside of it. You cannot spot inside the zone outside and vice versa and the vehicles don't render like they used to so the 5a is right in front of me does not get rendered until i enter this bubble this zone right here but he will magically disappear right now even though he's still rendered or he's still visible and spotted so he's just not rendered for some reason but that's the cutoff right here next to this corner of this building so it's not like a gradient it's not like you have one area of heavy rain to moderate rain to light rain it's a wall of water <laughs> and either you're inside or outside so vz55 is spotted same goes with the stb my teammates are shooting at him but i cannot even see my teammates the e4 the centurion cannot see them until i enter this invisible wall of the render zone so that's a mechanic but yeah to just go inside the ring <laughs> uh, i guess it's okay but it would have made a lot more sense if they rendered the enemy vehicles without putting the silhouette without putting the name tag right just render the vehicle without any anything else like the armor profile that would be fine i can tell if there's a vehicle I can look at its camouflage and shoot at it instead of the name tag, instead of the red outline. That would be great, but nope. Too complex and way too hard to program. So, also make the rain cloud shift. Make the smoke rises or just goes away after a while, right? Nope. It doesn't do that. They don't do that. And everybody go towards the, the front area right off the bat. So just everybody cluster fucks and zerg rush into one area. <laughs> He's right in front of me. Can I see him? <laughs> Best representation. Right there, STB. Just pops up. Oh, then again, he wasn't spotted. So that was the normal mechanics, I guess. Also, why is everybody and their mom spamming gold shell in this mode? It's not ranked. You don't need to try that hard. Why are you trying that hard? I have no idea. Why are you spamming gold? Top 12 on the team to get recorded for the recon mission, I guess. But really? Gold separates you from being top 12 to top 15 or bottom 15 or whatever. But Jesus Christ, gold spam. And sometimes your top tier in a tier 10 against a bunch of tier 8s in this mode, which is not bad. So, yeah, it's more frequent getting tier 8s while playing a tier 10 in this mode than random pub matches for some reason. So, yeah, stump all the newbies playing tier 8s, I guess. But, I guess it's okay, but the rest of the map is practically the same. So, only this area only this cloud right here and you can see the cutoff with this building that we're at against the 5a and against the vz55 so that's a cutoff it's not even a gradient it's just there <laughs> either he's spotted or he's not spot or he's rendering or not rendering but uh. and gocho again why you're already down all of your teammates and you're spamming cold still. I, I don't know. Fine, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun mode, but you have to place it at heat maps where everybody goes. If you're going to place this rain cloud right here on the bridge, 
nobody gives a damn because that's not a part of the area where everybody goes, right? Nobody goes here. Nobody goes here. You could place it here. You could make the cloud or area dynamic, but no. Just place it on the actual main spot of the map. Also, when they place it right here, you get no tank destroyer support on the actual tank destroyer line. So basically quarter maps into more of a quarter maps. So you get no ca uh, counter on hill pokes with haul down vehicles. So you're not getting punished with vehicles like the Super Conqueror on this map from tank destroyers because they cannot render you outside of this rain cloud. You get no artillery support anyways as well. So basically more corridor map inside of a corridor map. But yeah, like I said, if they just put the actual vehicle model without putting the name, without putting the red outline, that would make a lot more sense, right? You can still counter the enemy vehicles without getting the hint of the red outline. So yeah, okay, I guess. Alright, better representation of the rain effects. Now we're fighting inside of it, but no artillery interference inside the circle, inside the rain effects, as well as sniping tank destroyers from either side. So you're basically turning a quarter outside of the map or inside the map into a more of a corridor. So obviously favoring vehicles with armor and close range fighting type of combat, but it makes it more slippery with the rain effects. Does not happen with sandstorm or smoke or whatever, but obviously makes sense, right? Duh. Uh, I suck. So rain effects still makes it slippery, but once I'm getting used to it, I'll be fine. Yeah, it's like ice a little bit, but not as crazy. And once you're getting used to the slippery effects, you'll be fine, I guess, but you have no artillery shooting at this area. So, that's nice. That's real nice. No sniping tank destroyers to shoot at you also while you're in the rain, but you cannot see enemy tank destroyers. You could theoretically jam a random shell across the map or something, but I try a little bit later on against the backdrop against a heavy tank right outside the bubble but it's nice that no artillery is bothering me <laughs> that's a big plus but then again why the hell do you introduce this feature without putting random stuff at random parts of the map we're just turning a big corridor into a bigger corridor or a smaller corridor of a map. So, yeah, I guess, I don't know. Corridor maps are not fun, at least for light tanks, tank destroyers, and artillery. But you're basically cutting off like half the vehicle classes and playstyle <laughs> because of this feature. So the best solution, I think, vehicle will render. Enemy vehicles will render. Just not the name tags and the red outline, so people will actually have to see the vehicle. And therefore, bushes are dramatic, right? Bushes will make a big difference. But name tags and red outline is not given to you. But if you just cannot even see, then that's kind of taking away the actual effects, right? It's just a gradient. It's just a random invisible circle or wall right there. You have to get over, but I don't know game development so there is an object 752 right there you cannot see me there's also a SU 101 right there cannot see me Carnarvon artillery no supporting fire for enemy teammates because I'm inside the bubble that's how it works so quarter maps into more of a quarter map but I was trying to blind shot this object 752. I cannot see him, but I can guess. I'm trying to aim at where my teammates are aiming at, but 
Yeah, it's not working out well. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not a great way to see the enemy without rendering, so... Yep, I mean, I can try, but at least we have the ring effects, so... Once you get out of this bubble, you are rendered to the enemy team. Yeah, you'll be shot at across the map, but... That was a crap shot. I can go back inside the bubble to get away. <laughs> and be rendered against the enemy team, but it's it's the way of playing this mechanics. So, yeah, kind of weird. But, like I said, it's not dynamic. The ray effects does not shift. The circle does not move, like moving the circle from here to here. It just, either you're inside or you're not. And either you get the rendering or not. Either you're slippery or not. So, it's no gradient. There's no shift, but... I guess it's okay. You get a view range decrease inside the circle as well, but then again, it's already a quarter, so it doesn't matter. But... Yep, that's practically it, folks. So, try to enjoy it on the recall missions, but you're playing it for... I mean, it's the same as playing random pub, just you get some premium days. And other smaller stuff, like directives, outside of it, but... If you're going to play anyways, might as well play the recon mission, right? Unless you're playing lower tier, like tier 6 through 7 or something, but... I guess it's fine. I mean, make the rain cloud shift. Make the sandstorm shift. Not the same goddamn area. The same applies to random effects. Have the plane crash somewhere else, right? It's way too hard to program. There goes the slippery of the terrain with the rain, but... Snowstorm, we don't see that. I mean, too much particle effects lags the game. Snowstorm is a thing. We have a twister on the highway map, not being incorporated into the game, but. Oh, there we go, folks. Might as well play with this mode since you're already grinding, and we're grinding the Felice. So, I think you can get. Yeah, you can get Battle Pass points out of this, so, might as well kill two birds with one stone and grind the fleece while playing with this mode right so it's all right of a concept it just basically adds more map to the game but you can basically do that already with night maps just don't turn down the radio range or view range or other crap just have a night box and turn on the headlights that's night mode you don't have to put other garbage or fancy stuff into the game for night mode just a different map like winter Himmelsdorf or Winter Ruhmberg. They removed those maps, even though it's basically a copy. I would rather have the copy, right? Than not have the copy, but whatever. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> Eya, eya,